Okay. So I'm kind of in a long distance relationship. That's what my boss told me on my first day of work. Um, I got this job through a friend of mine who had it before me, and she warned me beforehand, like, if I get this job, I'd be working for a guy who's a little bit kooky, but, like, and you have to go out and work at his mansion, but he makes you lunch every day. And I was like, sold. <laughs> so I interviewed, and I got the job, and I started working for him. And he, uh, he has this company. It's like a management consulting company. And he goes in and he does workshops for leadership and diversity training. Um, and he's like a once affluent man who has written like 10 books on leadership and diversity, self-made millionaire who has since squandered said millions on multiple marriages and lovers and mansions and other material things and is in a steady mental decline. Um, He's 72, and to say that he's kooky is like a vast understatement, and I have taken to affectionately referring to him as Dr. Crazy. So on my first day of work, he says, I'm kind of in a long-distance relationship, and I say, okay. And he goes, yeah, she's a 26-year-old Muslim virgin who lives in Tunisia. <laughs> and I go, that was a lot of information that you just gave me. Um, <laughs> But I find out that this is kind of his operating paradigm. Like he really believes in like complete openness and honesty and that the way we get past our unconscious biases is through like connecting to the core of another human through total transparency. But he follows this like to a fault. Um, so I meet Ozma, his 26 year old Muslim virgin girlfriend who lives in Tunisia. She's a real person. She's not just like a Nigerian princess after money. Um, although I'm not entirely certain that she wasn't just totally after his money. Um, but uh, they talk via Skype like every day and I interact with her via Skype and via email. And I start to develop a little bit of resentment towards their relationship because as their relationship develops, all of a sudden my job now entails editing her master's thesis and <laughs> composing her doctoral proposal for her application to Harvard. Um, but she's also making like really exuberant demands of Dr. Crazy. At this point, he's already bought her a laptop and a cell phone, um, and now they're engaged, and for her wedding present, she's demanding a yacht and a Corvette and a month-long honeymoon in Dubai. And he's like, I don't have this money, but he doesn't want to tell her that because he wants to impress her, so he just says, you're being really materialistic and shallow. And then she says you're really disrespecting me and my family and me and, um, as your future wife. And then he accuses her of being possessed by the devil. And I know all of this because I'm CC'd on all of the emails. <laughs> um, so they, but they decide that they're gonna work it out. They're gonna, they're gonna go through this tumultuous time and they're gonna figure out their relationship. They're still gonna get married. So one day I come into work and he asks uh, for some help with his cell phone. He wants to print out some pictures from his phone because, which is like something that I've done before. Like he, he's 72 and he distrusts technology and he likes to have physical copies of everything. And he also doesn't really know how to work the, uh, the printer. So I'm like, okay, like what pictures do you want printed out? And he says like the most recent, like 30 that are on my camera roll. And I'm like, okay. So I plug in his phone and I pull up the files and all of a sudden I am accosted with just image after image of naked Ozma. Um, and I'm not talking like flirty, demure nude pictures. Like these are graphic. Like every position and angle and perspective imaginable are here. And this isn't like some mistake. Like it's not like he accidentally let me see these pictures because he's standing right behind me. And he's completely nonplussed and unapologetic. And he says, yeah, she might be a Muslim virgin, but she sure doesn't act like one. And I'm like, mortified. But all I can think of to do is to just print out the pictures and pretend like nothing's wrong. Because as soon as I show any sign of discomfort, like he's gonna jump in and try and psychoanalyze me and like ask me all these really uncomfortable questions about why I'm weirded out, even though he's the one who's kind of taken his openness and honesty policy like 20 steps too far. Um, so I just, you know, pretend like nothing's wrong. And as I'm like looking at these, just like immersed in all of these pornographic images, I think to myself, 
maybe the two of them are like perfect for one another because he's not really a millionaire. And judging from these pictures, she's not really a virgin. And now all of their secrets are out in the open. Thanks.